Welcome to the morning update. I'm Erin Roan. The Prime Minister has declared India a top-tier security partner during his visit to the country. Anthony Albanese is there for high-level talks with his Indian counterpart, also visiting India's first domestically built aircraft carrier. Mr Albanese has confirmed Australia will host international naval exercises this year with India, the US and Japan. For Australia, India is a top-tier security partner. The Indian Ocean is central to both countries' security and our prosperity. The Robodebt Royal Commission winds up proceedings today. Former Prime Ministers Scott Morrison and Malcolm Turnbull among those to give evidence on the unlawful debt recovery scheme. The Commission is due to hand down its final report on June 30. The longest flood operation in the state emergency services history has finally wrapped up. After 177 days, the final flood warning has been lifted across western New South Wales. Seven people died and almost 3,000 homes were left uninhabitable. The UN nuclear watchdog is pushing for immediate action to avoid a disaster at the Russian-occupied nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. The power has been cut off and reconnected to the Zaporizhia plant due to shelling nearby, affecting its cooling ability. Rafael Grossi from the International Atomic Energy Agency says it is extremely concerning. I am astonished by the complacency. Yes, the complacency. What are we doing to prevent this from happening? We are the IAEA. We are meant to care. A Trump lawyer is facing disciplinary action after admitting to making false statements about the 2020 presidential election. Jenna Ellis has been censured by the Colorado Bar Association after claiming, among other things, that the election was stolen and the ballots were manipulated. And if you are having trouble with your memory and concentration, it may be because you're stressed. Researchers say they've found a direct link between stress and reduced cognitive function. Stress has also been linked to a reduction in in the capacity to learn new things. To sport now, the Aussie men are in a commanding position heading into day two of the final test against India. The visitors sitting on four for 2.55. Usman Khawaj is starring with the bat, knocking a century. He says it was pretty emotional. I've been to India two tours before this and I carried the drinks all eight test matches. So, yeah, it was a long journey um, to finally get 100 in India. As an Australian, that's what you, that's what you want to do, is what you want to tick off. In the NRL, the Panthers beat the Bunnies 16 points to 10 to kick off round two. And in AFL, former Bulldog Liam Pickett has launched legal action against the AFL, his former club and club doctors, over concussions he suffered throughout his career. In entertainment news, Oscars producers have reportedly knocked back a bid by Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to make an appearance during the awards show. For the second year in a row, the Academy has snubbed him. The Oscars will be handed out on Monday. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.